welcome to all in the second presentation for unit 4 the topic is control charts for variable and attributes the subject is industry management for the subject code ria 601 it's a common subject for BTEC 6 students of all branches the content of the presentation are process chart the definition of process chart followed by objective characteristics types of correct control chart, variable charts and attribute chart with the illustration followed by benefits of control chart. To start with the topic process chart, process chart is one of the chart, one of the statistical technique used to study the statistical process, statistical quality control and these charts are used to monitor the output of the process as well as to indicate the presence of problem if any and if the problem is arises then it is required the further to take the further action to remove it also control charts are used to monitor the process where output is measured as either in terms of variable or in terms of the objective of control charts are as to secure the information about to establish or changing the specification or in determining whether the process can meet specifications or not. Another objective is to secure the information to be used on establishing or changing the production procedure. Another objective is to secure information to be used to establish or change the inspection procedure earlier we can change the production procedure as well as inspection procedure on the basis of the information available from the control chart also the two general objectives control chart serves as prior planning or pro planning as well as decision making this tool is universally accepted for making the planning as well as decision making for during the then we will see the characteristic of nature of the control chart by observing a simple control chart we can get number of information like first and foremost information is about the central tendency about the mean value the mean value represent the control limit control limit is the nominal value and average of the several past samples. Then another important characteristic is the extreme limiting values up to which the variation is permissible that is upper control limit and lower control limit. Third important characteristics that is confirmed by the control chart is the data points that each consisting of the average measurement calculated from a sample taken from the process ordered over time. We have seen the central limit theorem and regardless of the distribution of the underlying individual measurement, the distribution of the sample means will follow a normal distribution curve. Normal distribution curve provides the variation of the observation near the mean value. The control limits are set based on the sampling distribution of the quality measure. Control charts are of two, type, two types, variable control charts and attribute control chart. In case of variable control chart as the name suggests itself, we have to deal with the variable as the characteristic data. and uh, we have to control the variables provided in terms of the data. Variable charts can be categorized as X bar chart, R chart and sigma chart. Whereas attribute charts, in case of attribute chart, attribute chart deals with the qualitative aspects of the data and these charts, some of the chart and that comes from the category of attribute control chart 
are P chart, C chart, NP chart, and U chart. We'll, in detail, we'll look all these charts and illustration based on that. Control charts for variable. These charts that are reveals the variation between the sample observations, whereas where the sample are provided, say number of samples are taken into consideration, then first we have to take the mean. After that, we have to find out the control limit and an upper as well as lower control limit, the variation that is acceptable up to the permissible limits. And whereas R chart provide the idea about the dispersion of the data from its mean value. These charts show the variation within the only. Here, in the next two slides are representing the pattern of the data and its spread from or over the uh, X chart. Here, you can see there are number of cases are taken into consideration and in all these cases, the spread of data is shown. In case number one, two data are taken into consideration out of which one point is beyond the upper control limit means uh, along um, means out of control one point for this one observation the process becomes out of control whereas another point another observation taken into consideration is in control limit similarly case 2 3 4 are representing 7 6 and 14 points respectively below and above the center line that is mean line but you can see that in all cases the value are, is within the control limit which is within the upper end control limit upper and lower control limit so the process is said to be controlled one not out of control see in the next slide case 5 6 7 and 8 are representing bunch of points which lies between the upper and lower control limit it means the process shows the variation in terms of data however the process is not out of control processes within control next is the variable charts about variable charts x as well as r chart x chart to form the x chart and r chart first we have to identify the process like process may be inspection process may be process may be cutting assembly packing anyway second is we have to take the variable of interest like during packing stage we have to take consideration packing the thickness of packing the whether the packing is wrapped properly or not similarly when we talk about the processing operation like uh, machine we can take the um, variable parameter as depth of cut the left um, the feed rate the speed of the machine and after selecting the variable of interest we have to decide the suitable sample size like uh, the total population is say suppose 1000 pieces are to be produced and then we have to we cannot check each and every piece so we have to take the sample say 20% or 25% of the total and observation that is it may be 200 or 250 pieces can be taken into consideration for the analysis purpose and number of samples to be collected say small k then we have to collect the specified number of samples over a given time interval means we have to take number of times the observation so that we can make the estimation mentioned clearly and accurately now we have to find the measurement of interest for each piece within the sample like we have to find out <coughs> say uh, we we have, we have to take the sample size as 250 uh, or 200 out of a lot of 1000 and e during each shift if the 1000 pieces are produced then in the three shifts uh, 3000 pieces are produced and for the entire month the uh, 3000 into 30 pieces are being produced so uh, it is up to the 
analyzer uh, who, are, who is going to analyze the data that uh, up to which limit, up to which tenure he or she is going to take the sample or calculate the observation. Then after, after choosing the entire population, we have to specify the sample size and since after sample size, we have to take the mean of each and every sample. And uh, similarly, we have to take the variation range, range uh, among the, by taking range and mean of each and every sample, each and every lot of sample, we have to find out their mean again. Like in case of x bar chart, we have to find out x double bar is equals to summation of all the uh, mean taken from different lot and divide it with the number of total number of samples. Similarly, for R chart, we have to take the mean of all the ranges taken within different specific. After uh, calculating the mean value, that is control limits, we have to find out the extreme control limits like upper as well as lower control limit when the standard deviation is taken into consideration as well as when the standard deviation is not known. When the standard deviation is known, then x bar for x chart, the control limits can be calculated by x double bar plus minus 3 times of sigma x. And if the standard deviation is not known, then the upper end as well as lower control limit can be calculated by using the formula x double bar plus minus a2 times r bar, where a2 is a constant, the value of which can be taken from the table. Similarly, for r chart, upper as well as lower control limits can be calculated when the standard deviation is given that is in terms of r bar plus minus 3 times of sigma and uh, if the standard deviation is not known then upper control limit and lower control limit can be con can be calculated by uh, using formula d4 into r bar and d3 into r bar respectively. Similarly after finding out the upper and lower control limit for x and r chart we uh, if the standard deviation is not known then some of the constant a2 d3 d4 are taken into consideration through the table provided uh, for the normal distribution then uh, now we'll consider uh, now we'll take an example for the x chart example number one is about it is asked in the question that several sample size n is equals to 8 are taken into consideration from today's production of the fence post. The average post was 3 yards in length and the average sample range is given to you. You have to find out 99.73 percentage of upper as well as lower control limit. Here 99.73 percentage specifies the 6 sigma limit. You have to find out 6 sigma limit. So you have to multiply the formula by uh, either by 3 in terms of standard deviation is known or standard deviation is not known then you have to simply place the value of constant that are taken from the table of normal distribution here x double bar is given to you that is an equals x double bar is equals to 3 yards in length whereas range is also given to you that is 0 0.015 yards and A2, we have taken it from the table that is 0.37. Upper control limit can be calculated by using the formula x double bar plus A2 R bar and lower control limit is calculated by using the formula x double bar A2 R bar. These two limits are calculated as 3.006 yards and 2.996 yards. Example taken into consideration for x bar and R chart is like the results of the inspection of the 10 samples with its average and range are tabulated in the table and you have to compute the control limit for x double bar and r chart and draw the control chart for the data. Here a table is given to you in which the um, x bar and range is specified. We have to find out the uh, solution for x chart as well as r chart then from the table it is mean and range is given so first we will 
take the average again by dividing the total mean 76 divided by total num number of samples that is 10 and the x double bar is 7.6 whereas r bar is 2.6 later on in order to calculate the upper and lower control limit for x chart and r chart we will use the formulae uh, just because here standard deviation is not given so we will take the values of constant a2 d3 d4 from the normal distribution table these are 0.58 0 and 2.11 respectively and further we will keep these values in the formula for x bar chart and r chart and calculate upper and lower control limit for x chart it is as 9.11 and 6.09 whereas for r chart it is 5.48 and 0 respectively after calculating the upper and lower control limit we have to draw the uh, control chart for x bar and r bar chart it's shown to you next topic is the process capability process capability measures the capability of the process to meet the specification upper as well as lower specification it can be calculated by the formula usl minus lsl divided by 6 sigma and for r chart to draw r chart sigma can be calculated standard deviation can be calculated r bar divided by d2 where d2 is the constant the value of which can be taken from the table drawn for normal distribution then process capability index doesn't account for uh, where the process distribution is related to the center of the tolerance a process that may have higher capability that is for which the value lies greater than 1.33 but produce bad part it is if it is centered toward one of the specification one of the specification may be uh, one of the specification may be uh, above the uh, specification limit or lower the specification limit cpk indicates where the process is located with respect to the upper and lower limit of the tolerance and it can be calculated by using the formula near specification minus x double bar that is mean value divided by three times of sigma where sigma can be calculated by uh, again is equals to r bar divided by d2 next is control chart chart for attribute Control charts for attribute may be uh, used to calculate either percentage defective or defective per unit. These are the charts specified for the attribute chart, uh, RP chart and NP chart. These two charts are specifically used to calculate the fraction defective. If the fraction defective are asked to you, if it is given to you in the question that you have to calculate fraction defective, then you can use P chart or NP chart. In order to find out the, um, the, the percentage defective upper as well as lower control limit, you have to use the formula P bar plus minus 3 times of under root P bar 1 minus P bar divided by N. Before that, you have to calculate the control limit for P chart. That can be drawn by using formula P bar is equal to summation of NP divided by summation of N where small n is the number of items inspected and capital N small p is number of percentage defective that we have to calculate uh, by dividing the defective produced within the process out of total number of cell. An illustration is given to you in this slide based on the p chart in which it is asked to you, it is given to you the following they are the inspection results of 10 lots and each being of 300 items. Numbers defective in each lot are given to you. You have to calculate average fraction defective. Average fraction defective, this is the hint given to you. Minded student, this is, this is hint given to you with which you can find out the method, the, the, the chart. It is asked to you to implement p chart over here and three sigma limit for the p chart also you have to state whether the process is in control or not 
So first we you have to find out the percent is defective. In order to calculate percent is defective, defective, what we have to do? We have to divide number of defective pieces out of the piece inspected. Then this is this it will be the value of fraction defective. Again, we have to convert it into the percentage form. So we have to multiply it with the multiplying factor of 100. Then we'll convert it percentage. The value 0.1167, whereas upper and lower control limits are showed respectively. And the graph represent that all the values lies within the upper and lower control limit. And so the process is considered as under control. Next is about NP chart. NP chart is same as P chart. When we have to find out fraction defective, then we will use this chart. The difference is difference from uh, P and NP chart is is in case of NP chart we have to multiply the upper as well as lower control limit for P chart with the multiplying factor n only, where n is the number of samples taken for the uh, the data is not consistent, then you have to use U chart. In order to calculate the mean value, we have to calculate, we will use the formula C bar is equals to summation of CI divided by K, where K is number of samples and CI is number of defect in the ith sample. And control limit can be calculated by using the formula C plus minus three times of under root C bar. Similarly, for U charts, when the sample size is not consistent, then U chart will be used and average number of defects can be calculated by taking the ratio of number of defects per subgroup to the number of units per subgroup. That is U equals to C divided by N. And control limit can be calculated later on by using the formula summation of CI divided by summation of NI. Once the control limit is calculated, then upper as well as lower control limit can be calculated easily by using the formula u bar plus minus 3 times some uh, under root u bar divided by n. Last but not least, after preparing all the charts, attribute chart, variable chart, what we will get? We will get some of the information in terms of whether the uh, process out of control or not, whether the uh, process is safe to use, safe to implement, what is the process capability, these are the answers, possible answers we we'll get by using the above control chart, the, uh, the charts which I explained earlier slides. Also, these charts are providing useful information information regarding action to be taken by the quality cell as well as production cell further these charts are benefit these charts are benefited in terms of taking the decision related to prior planning and and uh, decision making for the future purposes that's all for now